still am, really. I just... sorry. High drama in Stuttgart. Graham Paul at the centre of it. He's been dishing out cards like confetti. And as you see that, it's been ruled as a second yellow card for Josip Simunic. He should have been off a few minutes ago. It's actually his third. Nightmare for Graham Paul. The English referee hasn't covered himself in glory. When you came off the pitch, mm -hmm. were you told instantly you'd made a big mistake? No, and that's what made it, that's what made it harder. Um, we left the field completely unaware of what had happened. A quite unbelievable game, it really was. It had everything, goalkeeping errors, refereeing errors to, to the point of which I've never seen before. I can remember trying to ring him after the game, just kept trying and trying until I got through. And when I spoke to him, I can't remember what my first words were, but at the time I spoke to him, he was completely unaware of the whole mix-up. So I went away and, and, and our massage room was next door um, to have a massage, obviously it was the second big game in, in, in three days. Um, and it was only towards the end of the massage when the referee liaison guy came back, came in the room and said, you better come back, there's a problem. Did you know that, that he, he made the mistake? Yeah. And I appreciate you talking yes. and it's difficult. Um, yes, I did. Did you? Yes, I did and I phoned to Julia straight away and, and from then on we had hours of texts and phone calls. Um, the DVD was put in. Um, there was, no, there was no remote control for the DVD, and so for the first 15 minutes we watched players warming up before the start of the match. S still in disbelief. But as time passed, even though we weren't seeing the incidents we needed to, we started to think, this, we must be wrong. And as that dawned over us, you, you just started to feel lower and lower and lower. I was gutted for him, I could feel his pain with him, and I was really upset and gutted for him. You sent him a text, didn't you? Yeah, straight after the match I sent him a text. Just basically said, um, I'm sorry Dad, it, I, I, they're saying you got it wrong, but you never do. But you never do. So, um, I'm sure you'll be right, but if you're wrong, we love you anyway. That was what she sent me, that's a 12 year old. You look at that and think, it doesn't matter. Football, and that's what brings you back two, three, four days later, is that love and support. You think, it is only football. Nightmare for Green Paul. The English referee hasn't come in himself in glory. When you actually put it in perspective and you read a newspaper from the front to the back page, all right, Graham splashed across the back page, but the front page, I mean, you know, there's awful things happening all the time. And I think you do forget that sometimes. Foot, football is just a game. I mean, I know it's a huge business and all the rest of it, but it is just a game, and he made he just made a mistake. After Colchester, Graham took charge of matches at Arsenal, Fulham, and a couple of UEFA Cup ties. Then it was the Merseyside derby, Everton against Liverpool. Big match, big atmosphere. So how is he feeling now about refereeing? The truth of the matter is, whilst I've not been infused in the build-up or a couple of games in Europe in the journey there and the preparation for the game, once I've gone over the white line to referee, I've refereed very well, to my satisfaction and to the assessor's satisfaction and to the player's satisfaction. And, you know, David Moyes on Saturday was very much, well done, Graham, we're glad you're carrying on. And it was heartfelt, you could tell it wasn't in order to gain a 3-0 win, obviously. I've still got to get through a major incident. Will there be a major incident at some time in the coming <laughs> weeks and months? It has to happen. But it did, and the incident couldn't have been bigger. Pole sent off England captain John Terry in the London derby between Spurs and Chelsea. And Terry and King square up to each other, England colleagues. Graham Pole is not going to leave it there, and neither is Chimbonda, who wants a piece of John Terry. Lampard's trying to get in the way and calm it down. And Graham Paul has a problem on here. Well, there are five players out there who already have yellow cards, and there's a red card for John Terry. I don't understand, but Mr. Paul now goes home, enjoy a good dinner with his family, and uh, tomorrow is another day for him, and we lost the game. 
and he doesn't have to give his face to, to explain a few decisions. Criticised by Chelsea players on the back pages, Ashley Cole had claimed that Pole had said, your team need to be taught a lesson. Terry claimed that Pole had given him two different reasons for sending him off. Why Ashley Cole's had to come out and make certain claims, why John Terry's had to come out and say certain things, I don't understand. I really don't understand. And I'm left very disappointed with the situation because, as, you, as I say, the season started well and suddenly everything then is dragged up in the media that Graham Pole's a controversial referee, Graham Pole's, of course, the blunder referee from the World Cup. That is grossly unfair. And what makes it even more unfair is I am not permitted to speak in the media. So you made a mistake? Um, I, I, I make mistakes. I do make mistakes. I don't think that I was wrong in that action at the time. I mean, I converse with John Terry on the field of play. I have done for years. I know, I mean, I was rebuked by a manager recently because his players told him I was calling John Terry JT and he thought that was over familiar and I had to agree with him. The thing that grates more than anything in this is I will make mistakes. If I was wrong to send off John Terry, then I was wrong. That was a genuine mistake. The implication behind all this is that I went out with an agenda before that match to teach Chelsea a lesson, to show them some discipline. That is implying I'm not impartial, and that's what hurts more than anything. Because it's been a controversial free season up until last Sunday, mm -hmm. did you think for one moment, did you think to yourself, I won't send Terry off because it's all been going smoothly and I know if I do, no. straight away I'll become the centre of attention. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Did you think of that for, for a split second? No. No. And, and if you do, then you fail. Um, I have to give decisions as I see them, as I see them as correct. I understand the ramifications of them, of course I do. Um, 